Until a couple weeks ago, the reception was pretty good, but a couple weeks ago, um, President Trump tweeted about some of my findings from 2016. He got a couple things slightly wrong. Uh, then Hillary Clinton tweeted back at him saying, my work had been debunked and that it was all based on 21 undecided voters. So it sounds like she got everything wrong. Oh, uh, I'm blatantly wrong. And, then, and you were a Hillary supporter. A huge Hillary supporter. I, I have a, a signed letter from Bill Clinton up on the desk over my wall. I mean, I'm a huge supporter of the Clintons. And then mainstream Ouch. media, which is my media, they all took up her message. And wow. I, I mean, at this moment in time, uh, I mean, I'm a pariah. I, I, I don't understand how mm -hmm. this happened. It makes no sense to me. Um, but yep. that's what's happened. Yeah. Well, I can tell you mm -hmm. why that happened. Because you're trying to bring an objective analysis. You're a threat. That's to our what electoral would... process and a very odious influence on that process that is under the radar. And if we had real news operations in these other networks, you would take what you've been reporting, your studies and so forth, and they have some investigative reporters, they have enormous resources, the New York Times, Washington Post, these other entities, and they would pursue it and they'd look into it. But they don't. So they attack you. It's the Democrat Party press, that's what I call it. You might want to rethink your, uh, your ideology. But all that said, <laughs> if you find more and more information and yet the, the information is censored by the mass media, that makes it much more difficult. Although you could go into the new media, right? Around the old media, around network TV, cable TV, and newspapers and so forth, go into social media, which I think is where your word is spread, quite frankly, and certain websites and so forth, and put the message out, correct? I could, but you know, it's very, very hard to fight these companies because, um, I mean, Facebook controls the largest social media platform that there is. So if Facebook wants to suppress your message, they can. Uh, Google controls 92% of search worldwide. I mean, the next largest search engine controls 2.5% of search. So the point is, if, if uh, major media or the tech industry wants to suppress my findings, which are, by the way, rock solid, very, very carefully done, if they want to suppress my findings uh, or mm -hmm. they want to criticize me in some way, they're very hard to fight. Have you been invited mm -hmm. on the press? No. Have you been invited mm -hmm. on uh, mm -hmm. this week? No. Have you been invited on any of the major Sunday shows? No. Have you been invited on any of the major Fucking lying news sacks of shit. No. I just wanted to understand that. We'll be right back. <laughs> Corrupt ass bitches.